Well, welcome back, everyone. It's 12:44. We are so excited to have the traveling Epicurean here on CT Style, Michelle Behar. Thank you for being here. Hi, guys. Hey, Thank you up? for having me. I love coming on here and showing you guys some really fun recipes. No doubt about it. I, I hear that you have a, a bit of a Game of Thrones twist with this recipe. <laughs> uh, well, I couldn't help myself because last weekend was the last show, and uh -huh. I am a Game of Thrones fan. So that's Sansa's lemon cakes. Right well, here. my take on Sansa's lemon cakes. <laughs> but <laughs> is that in the show? Did she make lemon cakes? Or she did. Just, she she did. made okay. lemon cakes. Um, oh. A couple times that, that came up. Now, did she make these shrimp? Uh, no, she no. didn't. Uh, or maybe they did. I don't know. But this is a very fun recipe for okay. summer. So I wanted to show you this. Yes. Yeah. And then I kind of tied in this. All right, let's do it. Let's okay. Get into it. So these are shrimp and chive rolls. And I make a ginger soy dressing, which is really awesome for other things. So for a cold asparagus salad, um, it's good on chicken, fish, beef, salmon. I mean, all kinds of great things yeah. I put that on. Um, the, the rice rolls are so versatile, we can do so many things with them. I like to stuff them with some sautéed vegetables. So, Ryan, you want to put the sautéed vegetables right in there? All of it? Yeah, and so I'm onion, trying to... So it's celery. onion, carrots, and, and celery, and yeah. mirepoix. I knew it had a name. Mirepoix. <laughs> <laughs> From last time. Oh, yeah. um, so that just gets sautéed just till it's softened. And then I actually deglaze with a little bit of white wine mm. in water and then steam it a little bit. You don't okay. need to have it golden. Um, and then we have our rice papers here, which we're going to be putting in water. Teresa, you want to yes. get going on the ginger Certainly. soy dressing? Mm -hmm. So I have some ginger already in there. And I use my rasp, my microplaner, and then I tap it in like that. And so we have some already in there. Okay. Then we have some toasted sesame oil. Mm -hmm. Is that amazing? Yes, it's so much wonderful. flavor in that. Then we have some soy sauce, some seasoned rice wine vinegar. Okay. We're going to throw in some sesame seeds. You toasted those too? Yes, I did Look toast them. So I toasted fancy. them in my little yeah. pan here. You can never walk away from that pan while you're toasting those because they will burn They'll on burn you. Quick. So you just got to keep shaking it back and forth. And then some fresh lime. And then you okay. just stir that up. Sure. And it's really delicious. And that's what I have here um, with our platter. So that's the finished product. That's the finished real. product. Now, how about these? So you soak these in water so, for how long? Well, like a you minute know, or two? Not even. No? You could just soak them in for about five to 20 seconds. You can keep them in longer, but then it gets more difficult to work with. I see. You want to keep them covered so they don't curl up because okay. they will dry out with the air. So that's it. And the three of us are going to actually make one here. So oh, this wait. is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, they're pretty wet there. That's okay. It's soaking into the rice paper. Okay. So now the shrimp I cut in half, just down the middle like uh, that. Watch those hands. And then she's a here, you're yeah, gonna do put it. the pink she's side a, down. Okay. You want to put sure, the pink sure, side down on yours. And Brian, why don't you oh. grab yours? Right yeah. in the middle. And then this here is the sautéed vegetables. So this was a copy of um, a Chinese dumpling I had in San Francisco. So that's how I came up with this recipe. Yep. You Sorry, can put Ryan. anything you want. That's what's so great about these. You can be totally creative. It's a fun, fun dish. You can put some rice noodles if you want. Okay. I have cilantro and mint here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I have some green onion. Turn it up. You can get fun. Now you just want to make sure it's not sticking Oops, out too oops, much. Sorry. Oh, right. That might be difficult that's, to wrap, that's Ryan. A lot <laughs> of Let me give you some. <laughs> okay, so I'm skipping that one. How do we wrap these? All right, All right. so this is how you wrap them. So you take it each side. Okay. And you fold to the middle. Fold to the middle. And like then you a burrito. Take the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a burrito. And then you take the other side and wrap to the middle. And then you take the bottom and pull forward. Oh, I messed mine up. That's okay. I think it's And then you tuck stick. it under and then you roll it. And then it looks just like that. Oh, hey, not too bad. And then you're going to dunk in the sauce here. Dunk it up. Why didn't mine stay? Well, you know, and there's still you get eat it. so <laughs> many of them in the package. Yeah. It's okay because you, you can mess just it up. throw it away and start all over again. All right, travelingepicurean.com. We'll find you on YouTube. How is it, Ray? No, it's real good. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> all right, more style coming oh up. We'll be right back. Is that good? It's so good. It's really good, right? <laughs>